What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time my friends we made our way back to the Cap Kingdom and we completed it 100%. Today we are going to be making our way to the Cascade Kingdom and doing the exact same thing. But before we begin, you all know the drill. Drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys who is your favorite all time Mario companion in any Mario game and here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is if you could use one Mario ability in your day-to-day -day life, what would it be and why? For me, that question is kind of tough to answer because there are so many great abilities that would come in handy to use in our day-to-day -day lives, but if I had to narrow it down to just one, I would definitely say it would be the wing cap. If I could have a cap that could just, you know, have wings on it and make me fly for a couple minutes at a time, that would be great. You'd definitely be able to cover a lot of distance rather than walking because flying is way faster, I believe. I mean, it obviously is. I don't know how it would be like if humans could fly, if they would be able to fly as fast as birds or whatnot. But still, flying seems like it would be awesome. You could fly over a lake rather than having to walk around it or, or you know, swim through it. You could also, uh, I mean, fly. I mean, come on, dude. Who doesn't want to fly? I'm sure we've all at one point in our lives wanted to fly or at least thought about it. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure in our time or even in the course of all of humanity will never have technology that will be able to make us, you know, fly like like birds or Iron Man or Superman or Goku or Vegeta or, or anything like that. I think the closest things we'll get are jets. The smallest form, uh, or maybe even gliders. Actually, that's a thing. Gliders can help. Like, you could fly with gliders. I remember back in the day when I used to be really interested in, like, piloting and whatnot i wanted to be a pilot when i was younger i uh i looked up i used to watch so many videos of gliders and i was really interested in it because uh, of avatar the last airbender as well uh, i was so fascinated by ang's like uh, staff where he could use it as a staff and then also use it as a glider i thought it was so awesome how he could literally fly wherever he wanted to when he wanted to using such a small little thing such as his glider um so I used to look up videos like that, but I don't think we'll ever reach a point where we'll have gliders as small as that. But there are gliders that are that do the same exact thing, which is pretty dope. I maybe one day I'll do it. That's the thing is I have a fear of heights, man. So I don't know if I'll be able to like paraglide or something like that in the future but anyways here we are in cascade kingdom there's so much to do here every time i begin one of these kingdoms i just don't know where to start because like i said there's just so much to do it's kind of overwhelming but i guess you just got to start somewhere and then work your way around to finding and collecting all the power moons so we're gonna just go ahead and pick up the coins first actually i have 27 i might as well switch my outfit I did a pretty good job, I guess, collecting some coins here at the beginning when I first made my way to Cascade Kingdom. This was like the first kingdom that I played in the game outside of Cap Kingdom. So, you know, I didn't get much of a chance to explore it the way I would have wanted to. And I totally didn't even know there was a crazy cap shop until uh, the fourth kingdom, which was the lake or the, the wooded kingdom. I'm like, oh, they, there's shops where you can buy stuff. Okay, well, had I known this, I would have definitely bought in stuff. You know, when I visited the first time. But look at this. My boy Mario is Tarzan. That's right. He is now the new king of the jungle. If this was actually a jungle, he would definitely be the king of this jungle. But it's not. It's just an open, vast, wide, beautiful, just island floating in the middle of nowhere. Personally, I think this is one of the most uh, beautiful kingdoms in the game in terms of... Just the view that you get because not many kingdoms give you a beautiful view like this like look at everything man look at all those little islands and just massive amounts of waterfalls everywhere you look there's a waterfall somewhere all right little bunny we need you i'm gonna kill you this is how mario eats he has to go around finding bunnies and he hunts them down come back here little dude ah and the thing is if he keeps running you know that's gonna just suck because mario will never be able to oh my gosh dude he eventually gets tired the more he runs, so you'll be able to get him eventually. Oh my goodness. There you go. I grabbed him finally, dude. So there's going to be, I want to say, oh no, no, it's not in this kingdom. There's there's one in the sand kingdom, which we're going to be doing next, but there's three of them. So you have to figure out which one's the real one, because like I said, you don't know technically which one the real one is, because there's three of them. So there's actually another power moon down here if i could get this camera angle to just adjust itself there it is right there so you can't accidentally fall off this waterfall and die 
Don't want that to happen, so you gotta be careful. Just don't swim too far to the edge. Bottom of the waterfall basin, we got that power moon. Let me actually take a quick look at how many we need. So we have 11 out of 40, and we have 27 coins out of 50. So uh, we have a lot of power moons to collect, but we should definitely be able to do it in this episode. At least I'm going to try. Even if it's going to be a longer video, it's all good because at least at the end of it all, we'll have all the power moons. So this is the first time ever in this LP that I'm showing something like this off. You go through a picture, Mario's like, wow, flying through in a nice vortex. I feel like this is what it would look like if you traveled at the speed of light. I guess nobody really knows. No one will ever know. But it takes you to Bowser's kingdom. That's right, dude. Bowser has an island in the sky just chilling up here. If you want to really take a look at where we're at, let's go ahead and look at the map. Look at this. So all these are just like you could travel from one area to the next using, you know, uh, power lines, electric lines or whatever. But this part you can't. I don't even think I've ever seen this floating island in Bowser's Kingdom. Maybe it's because it's so far and it's covered by clouds. But we've already seen this, so we don't need to watch it again. I only needed to show it off once. Um, but that's that. Fossil Falls. Oh, that's what it's called? Fossil Falls? It sounds like something from Diddy Kong Racing. Fossil Canyon! Fossil Falls! Diddy Kong Racing, man. That game is a really, really good game. It's actually one of my favorite N64 games. And it's just so sad how, you know, they remade the game for the DS and it actually turned out to be a lot worse than it was. Like, they should have never remade that game because it was a really bad remake. And I was disappointed at that. I wish they never remade the game. Or if they did, you know, they would have made it good. They would have kept it like the original. But unfortunately, they didn't for some reason. And it's kind of weird because I didn't think Nintendo had the rights to Diddy Kong Racing because of some characters but then again they did actually delete some of the characters from that game i forgot about that so this is one of those sunshine things i, I keep referencing sunshine whenever i play these because it does really remind me of sunshine and remember like i said in every one of these areas there's going to be two power moons that you're supposed to grab here um so there's one right here but you're gonna need you're gonna need cappy to go ahead and pull that thing down and then we're gonna climb our way up here very nice and then you're going to use the uh the gust of wind to your ability to get cappy to pull that lever all the way in the back which will actually activate a power moon for you and it works and i want to show off another cool ability that i only just recently learned and uh it's crazy because every day i play this game i learn more things about this game that i i guess didn't know which is kind of weird, because you'd think I would know everything there is to know about Mario's mechanics within the first, like, couple days of playing, but it's crazy how much, you know, I'm learning day by day. So, we need to go ahead and make our way this way, and then I need to stand right here, and stand over there, and see where we can go. Alright, I'm gonna just jump this way. Alrighty. Oh, no! Oh! Oh no, I didn't do the jump, man. Why didn't you do it, Mario? He failed. He died, and we were at the end. I did it, guys. So I hate to be the one that makes excuses whenever I, you know, have poor gameplay. But honestly, commentating and playing games is a lot harder than it looks. I feel like I'm pretty good at it, though, compared to, like, other people because I do this every day for a living. But... Whenever, like, you know, I play with some of my friends who've never, like, commentated and played games like this, they'll always tell me how hard it is because they can't focus on doing two things at once. And for me, it's just like, really? I feel like that's really easy to do now. But then again, it's because I, I would consider myself a veteran or something like that. But actually, I think there's going to be a power moon over here somewhere. One of these rocks should be a power moon. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So you're gonna find these in this game This is the first time that I'm showing one of these off. So inside of rocks like this Power moons will be hidden. You just got to keep breaking them down and you'll know based on the first kick that you do Usually they break right away, but if they don't like this then obviously you got to keep kicking it until eventually you get the power moon It's kind of annoying because you have to kick it so many times for the rock to actually break but eventually you will bust it open, and you will reap your reward, which will be the Power Moon. So, um, let's see. What else can we do? There's so many things, like I said. It's just I don't know where I want to begin. I guess we'll go to the T-Rex guy right now. We'll, we'll get the ones with the T-Rex out of the way real quick. So, there's going to be one locate. Goodness, look at the size of that thing. I know, Cap. He's like you've never seen a dinosaur, you prehistoric fool. I don't know why I'm insulting him like that all the time. We're going to just let him go right here. 
Uh, there should be... Okay, maybe I need him again. Yep, I'm gonna... Oh, he's back here. See? He's back here. There's something underneath this. And he's gone, but... And actually, in order to see him again or to get him to spawn back, you just have to look away. What? Okay, I guess you have to kind of walk away from this. Just a little bit. And then he'll make his way back. There he is. Alright, so there's actually going to be a Power Moon located beneath him, I believe. Is there a Power Moon in here? Yep, that's the one that I actually grabbed the first time around when I played this. Hey, look at that! Some coins! I would have never guessed. There would there would have been some back there. And there's some over there. And there's a Power Moon right there. Dude, just so many good stuff, I see. Alright, so let's go ahead and just bust down this thing real quick. There should be a Power Moon located beneath him, like where he was sitting. There it is. Okay, I see it now. So I figured you kind of had to break some stuff down. And then while he's like in this phase where he's like confused, we're going to go ahead and bust this and obtain our Power Moon. Now there's another one that we could do. If I could pick him up real quick, that would be... Oh, he's gone. Whatever. Fine, dude. Stay gone. Nobody liked you anyways, you stupid dinosaur. Gosh, dude. Who would have guessed dinosaurs exist in the time of Mario? This is the first time ever, man. All right, so you want to go ahead and... What the heck, dude? I totally feel bad. Let me go back and do it again. Let me do it the proper way, man. Okay. Because every time I play this game, and like I said, it's just I'm not commentating it. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, my gosh. I filled it, dude. Get up there, Mario. I filled it. I did it a little too quick. Oh, my goodness. Hey, actually, that's how it's supposed to be done. That's the, the right way, the proper way. You're supposed to literally break that pipe. So above a high cliff. Thank you, Chompy. I didn't know you were that nice to do something like that. Top of the big stump. Is there any uh, power? Is there any coins back here? Yes, there are some coins hidden in here. So that's 37. Um, we're so close to finishing this off. Collecting the coins. You would think that the game would reward you for getting all coins in every uh, kingdom. I mean, I guess you get like that reward from Toadette at Peach's Castle. Because there's literally a reward for everything that you do. But now we're going to be using this guy once again. And I'm going to show off exactly what I'm going to do with him. So let me just go ahead and dash with him so he can speed things up a little bit for me. We're just going to walk this way. Okay. does he, uh, Bro, get up here, man. There you go. I was going to say, does he not jump? He doesn't jump, but still, he's able to get up there somehow. He can't break that tree stump. However, right here, there will be a power moon. So let's go ahead and just get out of here real quick. And ground pound this, and voila, a power moon hidden underneath that pole. Who would have guessed? Oh yeah, by the way, there's another one of these these power moons I just remembered. Go ahead and possess this thing, and look in the sky, and you'll see a flying sphinx. Look at him, dude. He's just flying in the sky. Oh, it's a me, a sphinxy. It's weird, because we didn't see him at all in this kingdom, but... When you really look for him, he's having a grand old time flying in the sky. I wonder if it's the same Sphinx in every kingdom. Like, if it's just one Sphinx that, you know, visits all the kingdoms, or if it's a different one every time. It could very well be that, but I don't know, actually. Um, so, luckily for us, we already had a good start getting, like, some of the Power Moons. Like, the Captain Toad one, the Koopa Trooper races, the Peach one. What else did we do? Like, uh, the, the, the Captain Toad, the Koopa Troopas, the Peach, I guess that's it, you know, and then all the other ones that we found along the way. So now we can make our way, um, hmm, let me take a look. So there's all of these ones right there. Let's go ahead and just work our way around. All right, let me see. Again, I don't really know where I want to, like, continue from because there's so many, you know, that it's, it's kind of overwhelming to just choose where you want to do it, but... I guess we'll go this way. There's one of these things. We'll go ahead and just make our way inside. See where it takes us. A chimney. We're going inside of someone's house. Oh, it's this one. So this means another two power moons for us. And this is where I get to show off that cool Cappy ability that I learned just recently. So I believe the best way to play this level is looking at it from like this side view. Kind of like a, a new Super Mario Bros. level. It's actually pretty easy to do it like that. All right, kill him like this. All right, go ahead and bust these down. It's kind of like Super Mario uh, Galaxy 2 with the cloud ability. And then, oh gosh, I was going to say that's not cool. So you want to stand kind of like at the edge right here and then toss Cappy. And then what you could do is you could have... Uh, okay, let me actually jump on this real quick before the cloud disappears. All right, very nice. And then let's climb on this. 
Climb on that. All right, so I'm going to show it off. So you go ahead and do that, and then you shake with Cappy. All right, hold on. There you go. And Cappy has an extended, like, uh, extended reach. So I'm going to show it off in a better way. So if I go ahead and send Cappy off like this, and then shake it, he'll reach it. Pretty nice, right? All right, and then reach it like that. And then get the power moon so that's one of two so this is a top of wall among the clouds this is the one that's hidden in a very nice manner and then the very last one is all the way at the end and then i don't think there are going to be any purple coins in this area but if there are then i'll most likely run into them all right so let's go ahead and jump all right copy jump there you go and then do the same thing kill these guys ah no leave me alone sonic the hedgehog there's so many of them Luckily for us, they don't respawn when they... All right. Got to get it, Mario. Got to get it. There you go. All right. And long jump. Long jump across. Go ahead. And hit that one like that. And I'm going to do the double long jump. I'm going to do that. Long jump. There you go. Wait for it. I said playing it in sideways was probably the best thing to do. But look at me, man. I'm doing it in a, in a 3D fashion. All right. And then I'm going to just wait for this thing to finish. Whoa! All right. We did it, guys. Pretty nice and easy. Across the mysterious clouds. That's right. We crossed the mysterious clouds like champions. Who would have guessed, dude? Mario Zan is is a beast. This is like his form of, you know, swinging from vine to vine. He, he's just a master at it. He's a professional. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's going to be some stuff down here as well. We already got the purple coins up there. So I guess we don't necessarily have to go there and get them. But there is a hidden door back here. And... As per usual, two power moons will be located here, as well as some coins. So luckily for us, we're going to be able to, you know, beat a nice portion of this uh, as it is real quickly. Oh, no, stay away from me. Dude, he was coming at me with full force, man. It's pretty crazy. So this one's going to be a 2D. Look at that. You got little 2D Tarzan Mario here. I'm going to just wait for this Koopa shell to come back and kill all these guys. Woohoo! Give me the points. Oh, that's right. There are no points in this game. This game jipped me from all my points. So, uh, we'll go ahead and go this way. I'm trying to think real quick. Where could the second power moon be? Um, I'm, I know where one's at. It's at the very end. But I'm trying to think where the second one is. Because I don't want to accidentally skip it. That would be a real shame. Oh, I think I got this. Yeah, this should be easy. So, what you want to do here is you want to you wanna go down maybe? Is that what you want to do? I don't think you want to go down. Down's actually a form of dying. All right, so let's not do that. Let's actually go ahead and do this, though. I'm going to show you guys something cool. All right, jump. Okay, well, I failed that. That's going to take some time to do. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get across to the ledge all the way over there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Mario, he can't, like, he doesn't run as fast as I would want him to. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's because I get clipped. Okay, I'm going to wait, 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 wait. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, we did it. Okay, so that took a little while to do, but that's how you do it. You want to make sure you make your way back here because you will see that there are some purple coins hidden back here. Now, these ones were the hardest one for me to get because I didn't know there were purple coins here, but there are purple coins here. So you want to make sure you grab them, and that takes you to a power moon, which is pretty convenient. Um, and now we're going to go back through this war pipe and hopefully be able to make our way to the area. Oh, there it is. You see that? There is something down there. It's just a matter of how do I get down there? Do I have to go down like this, maybe? Because I don't want to accidentally die. Okay, that's not how it's done. I would literally die if I did that. Um, that's a fantastic question, then. Hmm. How does one make their way over there? There's a pipe that goes down that way. That's a good question. Oh, I see. That's how it's done. See, sometimes you just got to play it twice to remember. The first time around, I didn't really recognize it. But here we can bust down this thing for the Koopa to break. Once he breaks it. Actually, let me go ahead and pick up these coins. Give me all them coins. Oh, yummy. Gold for a Tarzan boy like Mario. He doesn't need it, but I'll take it. And then, woohoo. Whoa, I underjumped, dude. I could have died. I would have fell in the ditch and died. That would have sucked. But that's how it's done, guys. We did it. So now we could just warp our way out of here. Or I could just, yeah, let me just warp my way out of here. I'll go to this, you know, flag. See what happens next. Let me see if it takes me to the top of the uh, hill. Yep, it does take me to the top of the summit. So luckily for us, 
There's a couple power moons here. So let me show off one of these things real quick. Go ahead and talk to this guy. He'd be like, I heard there was a real caveman around here. I'd love to meet one. A caveman, I'm such a fan of your work. I'd like you to have this. It's like he wants to meet a caveman. Instead of giving him something like a club or something useful for his adventures, he goes ahead and gives him that. What is that going to do for me? Oh, by the way, you see that? You see that power moon hidden on the island over there? Well, you're going to find out exactly how to get it. And I don't think it's located in this world. It's in a different world. But anyways, we got some more coins over here. We also have a power moon chilling right here, which is pretty nice. Go ahead, pick that up across the floating aisle. Pretty nice. Look at the view here, man. Look at this magnificent view. Dude, so much water around here. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's amazing. Such a beautiful kingdom, man, I have to say. So we have six more coins to grab before we are done. I might use the Bowser Amiibo for the rest of them because I couldn't really tell you exactly where the rest of them are. I, I don't recognize them off the top of my head. Um, now, here's another Power Moon that you could get using Cappy. Um, unfortunately, you can't do like the Cappy jump or dive with this, but here's one even better. You could do like this really cool spin jump with Mario, which people tend not to do for whatever reason. And you can reach heights that you normally couldn't reach. And uh, look at that. We even have a lot of time left to kill doing that as well. So that's another Power Moon. Pretty easy one to get. There's also another one as well. I think it's located right here. It's going to pick it up. And you just got to fall on it to it like that. Pretty nice and easy next to the stone arch. There's also another one that I literally just saw. Let's go around this way. Break all these guys. Oh, leave me alone. Don't touch me. I'm, I'm here to leave you guys alone and do my thing. Actually, I think some of the purple coins might be in this area. So, I don't know if I did this before or not. I feel like I might have already done this in the past. Uh, I just don't remember. Oh, gosh. Okay, there you go. Oh, no! Gosh dang it! Alright, let me kill this stupid Goomba, dude. He literally is the one that threw me off. I'm gonna kill you, too. Alright, let's do this again. Now, this time, I have no excuse to fail. You know, I failed once. It was my, you know, bad. But this time around, if I fail, I truly am a loser, boy. And then we get it. Oh, we didn't actually get this one. How did I skip over this the first time around? I don't know. Man, I really do suck, don't I? Taking notes, hurry up on, hurry upward. So that's one power moon that you could get. And there's also one over here, but you have to find that secret hidden block. And there it is, guys, just chilling on this wall. I think that's the one I just saw. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was something else, but this is behind the waterfall. We are on a roll here, guys. We are just doing fantastic with these power moons. It's like, it's awesome how like, you know, you just play it once and then every, oh, there is one. Ah, okay. Well, let's 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 go back to it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something even better. I'm gonna do this. All right, and then I'm gonna just you know fall right here. All right, and then I'm gonna do the uh, the the. Oh my gosh, that's not how it's done. All right, let me try that again. That was that was a total failure. All right, I could actually. There you go. Grab it like that. Very nice. Treasure under the cliff. All right. So let's see. What else can we do? See, there's the one over there. I didn't even see that. Just now I noticed it. Pretty nice. I think these are all, um, what's, what you gonna call it? Oh, no, Mario. I literally pu I pulled back. I pulled back the jump because I was too worried I would extend the jump too far. But that's crazy, man. You know, I, I screwed it up myself. And they spawned me here. Really? Do I still have the uh, other ones? I do. That one? Yeah, I still do. Okay, yeah, that's right. The game saves. I was going to say, they can't do this to you. They can't just take away your hard-earned work. doesn't even matter, man. Once I make it here, I'll just work my way backwards. Or, I mean, I'll just teleport to a different spot in this level. So then that way I don't have to worry about, you know, coming back the old-fashioned way. All right, that thing is going to disappear, man. I'm spending, I'm spending too much time on these clouds, bro. All right, let's go ahead and bust that one down. Bust this one. All right, and we got another one on the floating aisle. Jump, just a hat, skip, a, and a jump. Just a hat, skip, and a jump. Yeah, I like the name of that. That sounds nice. So, uh, let's see. I have six more coins to get. It's a great question. Where are they? Let me go ahead and use the, um, 
Wait, actually, let me see. There's actually one up here, I believe, as well. Not a coin, but a power moon. You want to stand on the tip of this, uh, this right, what is this called? It's, uh, I know the name of the dinosaur. Gosh, I forgot it, but I know the name. Uh, a Triceratops, maybe? But there it is. Eh, guarded by a colossal fossil. <laughs> it is a colossal, dude, for sure, man. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Bowser Amiibo. Oh, you can't use an Amiibo while you're saving the game. So now it's going to tell me where the coins are. And it looks like the coins are located. I guarantee you they're going to be inside of one of those mini games. Watch it be in a mini game. Oh, there's three back here. Nice. So now we only have three more to get. Okay, so let's go ahead and use it again. This will tell me where they are. See, I would have never figured that out without Bowser. I mean, I guess I would have eventually, but let's see. Where is it located at? It's located down in the water. Oh, please don't tell me they're located under this bridge. Oh my gosh, they were hidden right here. That's it, guys. We did it. 50 out of 50 coins. Pretty nice and easy. And with that, we're right next to the shop, too. So it's pretty convenient. We can go ahead and soup up our Odyssey as well. Spend all the coins we worked hard for. And just buy the stickers and the, uh, tri the, the Triceratops. Yep, that's what it is. Triceratops trophy. A replica of a real dinosaur fossil from a Cascade Kingdom hanging on the wall. And it's completely transforming the room. Or transforming the room. Alright, let's do it, man. I would have rather had that on my head than this caveman headwear. This dry bones hat. Alright, let's see how many we got. We have nine more to get. Um, let me actually see. There's one right here, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and just transport to it. Now the rest, I don't really know what they are. So I'll have to talk to the bird and he'll be able to tell me the ones that I haven't gotten yet. But there's one literally right there. It looks like we're headed to it right now. It's just a matter of where is it? Um... Hmm, that's a great question. Where could it be? Unless it's hidden somewhere. Wait a second. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm literally so stupid. I'm like standing right next to it as well. So we don't need this guy. We need this guy right here. We need you. All right, so you want to go ahead and pull back. And then you want to let it go like right here. Okay, what the heck, dude? This stupid chomp had to get in my way. There you go. Let it go. All right, let's do it again. Oh, I need you, dude. Dude, I can imagine how hard that would that hit would feel if the chomp hit me like that. But there's one power moon hidden right there. It was behind that rock. Literally, thankfully for the uh, the moon rock power moons, they'll show you where they are exactly on the map. So with that, we can actually make our way to the talking uh, parrot or whatever his name is, and then he'll tell us exactly what ones we're missing. So I know there's one, actually there's two that you need out of this kingdom, which is fine. Um, let's talk to this guy. Hey buddy, what's up? How's it going, dude? Watch that secret? Nice shot with a chain chomp. It's hiding somewhere. No peeking, no squeaking. Nice shot with a chain chomp. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What could that one possibly be? Nice shot with the chain chomp. Is it this one? Oh, I think I know which ones they are, dude. There's a little mini game like that where you have to shoot the chomps. Okay, so that one that one just gave me coins. So I got to find a uh, another one of those doors to go inside of. And then there's going to be like a chain chomp mini game. But that's the question. That's the thing. I don't know where the door is at. Okay, so there's a war pipe hidden back here. Didn't take long to find it. And this war pipe will take me to some place. Oh my gosh, literally the one that I was looking for. It literally took me like five seconds after I told you guys I'd see you when I find it. And I found it. So this one, you have to shoot the chomp and hit the other chomp. Make him hit the thing. And again, there are two power moons here. So I know exactly where four are currently. I know, I know where six are, actually. This is pretty good, so... You don't really have much left to find. So this one, you got to get a good shot. You got to hit that one just like that. Get the coins as well in the process. And we got the chomp there. So you're going to do this like four times. And then on the fifth, on the third time at least, I think this is the one where the attempt is hard. So you got to kind of get it at a good angle. So let me try this. Okay, so that didn't work at all. Let's try it at a different angle. Uh, let's, do it like, let's do it like this. Okay, let's not do it like that. Let's do it like this, where I do it like that. There you go. 
Okay, that's how I'm supposed to do it, but that was a little too sharp. So let's do it a little less sharp. Okay, that's again too sharp. You know, I'm supposed to tilt it more to the right. Like that. Okay, what? Are you serious? Alright, how about like this? Okay, he broke that. Still doesn't do me much favors. Uh, let's shoot him directly in the face. Okay, he just broke it. it didn't work out. Let's do it like this. Oh my gosh, he's not hitting the dude. This is, they stand still, that's the problem. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, what? I guess you have to angle it at the specific way, because the other chomps don't move. There you go, man, that took forever to do. But you have to make sure you angle it exactly, otherwise you won't be able to do it. So before you make your way to the pipe, I mean, I guess you could pick this up, but there's actually another door hidden behind here, another location. And there's another one of these chomp mini games. Now, if you thought the last one was hard, well, this one's actually a lot harder. But hey, at least at the end of it all, you get a nice reward. So we're going to go ahead and try this first. And see. Okay, so that did not do it the way I would have wanted it to. So let's go ahead and angle it this way then. Let's do it like this now. Oh, there you go. That was way easier. See, I remembered that one from yesterday when I played this kingdom. So that's an easy two chomps. Very nice shot with the chain chomp. So the other one was nice shot with the chain chomp. This one was very nice shot with the chain chomp. Pretty nice. Um, now what else can I do? There's going to be another one of these areas. And I just don't know exactly where it is. But I guess we could go back and talk to the lack of, or the, the parrot and see what he says. But before I do that, let me just make my way around here to double check if there's anything. Did I enter this one? I feel like I have. I mean, I definitely did, didn't I? Let me just double check. I feel like I did. Otherwise, you know, I'd be an idiot for skipping over. Okay, so I did. That doesn't seem like there's anything left in here. Shut up, Cappy. I know there isn't anything left. So yeah, if you don't know, Cappy will actually tell you that uh, if you forget something, he'll be like, hey, there isn't anything left in here, by the way. But if you leave and you come back and there's something that you had forgotten, he'll tell you, hey, there's something that you forgot here. So go get it. And he'll tell you exactly what it is, whether it be a coin, whether it be another power moon. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty helpful of him to do. He doesn't have to do it, but yeah, he does it anyway. So, that's pretty nice of him. So, let's go ahead and... Oh! What the heck, dude? Mario! You just... You can't do that to yourself, man. You can't just kill yourself whenever you don't want to find power moons. Where's it? It's going to spawn me back here. Whatever. Fine. It's, it's all good. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and just make our way over to this guy. Woohoo! Talk to this guy real quick. Hey, what's up, Takatu? What's his name? It is Takatu! I was gonna say it's Takatu. What is the secret you're seeking? I know what it is. I can't tell you. Dinosaur nest running wild. It's hiding somewhere, but no peeking. Go find it. Scra. See, I know. That's the one I literally said. But I just don't know where it is. And that's gonna give us another two power moons. So I guess I'll have to find it. But let's see if I can activate the rest. Blah, blah, blah. I can't tell you about a treasure of waterfall basin. It's hiding somewhere, but no peeking. Go find it. Okay, so let's take a look. We need six more. All right, let's see the other ones as well. Tell me, what is it? You're seeking secret path to Fossil Falls. Okay, I know that one. All right, so I'm going to go find the entrance to the uh, dinosaur's nest. So I'll meet you guys once I find it. Okay, guys, I figured out where the uh, location is for this next power moon. So you want to make your way to this checkpoint over here. And then right behind it, there is a hidden door, which you'll be able to find two power moons in. And this actually is a pretty interesting one. I really like this power moon a lot. So as you can see, there's a giant T-Rex sleeping here. Now you want to go ahead and kill everything that you see, which is pretty fun because, you know, with the T-Rex, he has like this ridiculous power. He can just crush everything in his path within a matter of just a split second or even less. You know, it's crazy. And uh, once you destroy all of these little things, these little Sonic the Hedgehogs, uh, you'll be able to get yourself a power moon, activate a power moon. So you want to make sure that you do that. Just go ahead and kill them all real quickly. There you go. I don't know if there's any more. I see this guy, this red one. All right, don't fall. There it is. Power moon. I could just hop out of the dinosaur now. Oh my gosh, I was a little scared I was going to fall. I don't know what would have happened if I fell, to be honest, but jump out of the dinosaur, dude. He's kind of hard to control in that form. But anyways, that is another Power Moon Dinosaur Nest big cleanup. Now, the dinosaur will end up spawning back again right here. 
uh, after a little while. But once he does, you want to make your way down here whenever he does spawn back with him. And then you'll be able to get another power moon. Uh, where are you at, dinosaur? There he is. He's back once again sleeping. Look at him, dude. Big giant beast. All right, here we go. Let's make our way downstairs and see what we can find. It'll be nothing but a power moon somewhere down here. All right, it's probably one of these blocks. Let's go ahead and run. Just bust it down. There you go. There it is, guys, the power moon. So that is how you get two easy power moons in this kingdom. Nice and easy. I just didn't know where the location was, but then, you know, I found it, which is pretty awesome. Dinosaur nest running wild. So I know where another power moon is. Let's go ahead and just get off this thing. I guess you can't travel when you're capturing someone. So we need to go to fossil. F Actually, let's go back to where the Odyssey is. If you go back to the Odyssey, you'll be able to find another power moon located in that area. There's actually one located under the waterfall. I don't know how I missed it, but I guess I did. Maybe it's because there are so many underneath the waterfall that it's hard to keep count. Uh, it could very well be this one. I actually don't know. It has to be, though. I feel like, you know, it has to be this one. Is it this waterfall? This is the giant waterfall there is, right? This is the basin one, right? Uh, what if I go down this way? I will die. Okay, don't want to do that. Don't want to accidentally fall and die that way. Let's see what's going on back here. Is there a hidden... Oh, there is something hidden back here. Hey, look at that. It is a power moon hidden in a chest. That's right. So now that we got three more power moons, how many left do we have? We have three more to get. All right, let's go back to Takatu and see what he has to say. I know where two are, but I don't know where the last one may be. So I guess we'll have to figure it out. Let's go see what he has to say, though. It's probably something stupid that I totally forgot, but it's super easy to get. Hey, man, where, where's the last power moon at? Tell me. I get the Cascade Kingdom timer challenge. What? Okay, there's another timer challenge somewhere here. Okay, I found him, guys. Literally in the same area where we found so many different power moons. So this is the second timer challenge. You want to go ahead and throw Cappy right here. There are three platforms that you want to make your way across. We're going to go ahead and jump on this guy. And we're going to jump on this. And then we're going to jump on the last platform right here. We don't have to do anything fancy. I mean, if you do it the intended way, you'll definitely be able to do it. And with that, we got the power moon. So one thing that I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to just go ahead and exit this kingdom. Because the next two power moons that we need, the final two power moons that we need to complete Cascade Kingdom, aren't located in Cascade Kingdom. So uh, I'll go ahead and do the taxi one first because in my opinion, it's kind of the dumbest one and I want to get it out of the way because you have a couple things that you need to do before you actually, uh, oh, hey, a new product out to the shop. I wonder what. So we need 159 more power moons before we can play through the final kingdom in the game. So you want to go to sand kingdom. I'm telling you, this power moon is so silly. Go to Sand Kingdom. You'll find a taxi driver from Metro Kingdom chilling in Sand Kingdom. I don't know why he's with his taxi in Sand Kingdom. Maybe he has one of those new flying taxis or something, but he just is here. You want to go talk to him. And then once you talk to him, you're going to make your way to Metro Kingdom. Talk to him there, and then he'll be in Cascade Kingdom. And then you get yourself a power moon. So easy and silly, I know. Go ahead, blah, 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 talk about my Metro Kingdom. So literally, that's all you needed to do. Just talk to him like that. He'll tell you about Metro Kingdom. I, I don't know what that other dude's doing with him, but he follows him wherever he goes. But we're going to go with Tarzan, man. Imagine going to, like, Metro Kingdom and in that outfit. People are going to think you're crazy. I remember I was watching this uh, show where this man tattooed himself. He, he was he was a guy that had the most tattoos on his body ever and I think it's like 90% of his body was tattered or something like that or even more He even had his eyes tattooed, but he was called leopard man This dude literally thought he was a real-life leopard and he lived in the wild and I remember when I saw it He actually had passed like he a week later from watching that or whatever he passed away and I was like wow That's that's kind of weird like, you know, I just learned about this guy and then he's passing away, but He's like nine, he was like 90 years old. He was a pretty old guy. And I, the reason I, I, oh, you know what? How I remembered him or how I knew him is because he was, um, there's this show on Netflix. It was about like, you know, these really bad murders that took place, you know, around the world. And uh, he was actually, he wasn't involved in one, but I guess he took care of one of the murderers that were uh, that were in the show. Like, it's a real life show. It's not like a, it's not science fiction or anything. It's 
literally a real show talking about real murder cases and this guy he didn't aid a murderer but he i guess you know ran into one and then he like took her under her wing and or, or no 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 i didn't mean to go to sand kingdom oh gosh dang it dude i meant to go back to cascade kingdom but i was too distracted by my story man that i just i had no idea what kind of buttons i was clicking but the last two power moons like i said they're located outside of uh of the uh this of the the kingdom i don't know why i'm having a hard time speaking actually one of them isn't located outside of the kingdom but you have to exit this kingdom and go back to the kingdom through a different kingdom in order to get it i'm saying kingdom a lot dude sorry not to sound like a weird real word like yesterday i was working on thumbnails and the text that i was working on was uh was the best of series if you haven't checked it out on the channel go check it out i updated all the thumbnails on the series and made it into like a official series and whatnot but i was working on the thumbnails for that and it took like a good hour to redo them all and make them and whatnot so the word best started looking so fake and i was like is this even how you spell it like what is best like it's just this four letter word makes this sound this and that and it just it sounded phony to me you know it started like to not sound real and that's what kingdom is now whenever i see it and say it, it's just like it doesn't even sound like a real word anymore but now that we got this we can now make our way to uh the snow kingdom and get the final power moon and we are done with this kingdom once and for all guys it's a really good kingdom man so that we need to go to the snow kingdom and the reason for that is because they want to punish mario they want to show him what it's like to have a caveman living on ice. Mario can know what it's like to live in the prehistoric times, the Ice Age times, the times where man no couldn't exist in this environment. Mario now knows. Look at this. I'm going to show you guys. Ooh, look at me. I'm so cool. Somebody save me. So you want to possess this guy right here, this giant cloud. Uh, knock off his hat and then possess him. And then you're going to just work your way all the way to that wooden block over there in the corner you want to push it so it's up against that wall jump out of the capture and then hop on top of that ledge there will be a poster or a portrait or a painting whatever you want to identify it as and it will lead you back to sand kingdom to that island that was floating very high up in the sky that we couldn't reach and with that we would literally be done with the uh with cascade kingdom so go ahead and climb there you go very nice look at the view from here man Look at the view from here. So nice. You're at the highest point in this kingdom. Oh, yeah. Enter, please, Mario. Do it. Taking us back to Cascade. Woohoo! Mario has no idea what's going on. And with that, my friends. Oh, and we can also get a checkpoint here. It's literally like what we did in Bowser's Kingdom. Island in the Sky. I feel like that's a star name in Mario 64. Could very well be, you know? It's a nice, nice little throwback, I guess. But with that, we are done, guys. We finished Cascade Kingdom 100%. 50 coins and 40 power moons. I don't even know how many power moons we had starting this kingdom out on, but I could tell you it wasn't a lot because we found so many alone in this episode. And it was worth This guy really staying in Cascade Kingdom now? He's just going to chill with this taxi here? I guess so. So with that, guys, I'm going to end off today's episode. Now, for Sand Kingdom, because it's a little bit longer, I most likely will be splitting it up into two episodes. And that's what I'm going to do for any kingdom that seems long. Uh, I'll split it up into two or three episodes, depending on how long it is. But for the most part, I'll definitely try to do my best and the most that I can in one single episode. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. We're making our way back to the Mushroom Kingdom because this is our hub. This is where we end off things at. This is where Mario gets to spend the rest of his night at until tomorrow with the Toads and everyone else here. You know, and the lovely Princess Peach's castle. And Peach is even up there on the balcony, I believe. So, yep, there he is. I could see Tiara floating around. So thank you all so much for watching, my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.